First of all, what's the probability of drawing a red king? If you already know what a deck of cards is and how many of each type there are, then you know that it's just 2 out of 52. That's your chance of getting a red king on any given you know, drawing of a card. The black 6, that's also going to be 2 out of 52 if you know what the probability is. Uh, and that's because half the cards are black, so you can multiply half by 4 out of 52, the cards that are a 6, and you end up getting the same thing, 1 out of 26. And it's just 2 out of 51 that we're going to end up working with. So all I need to do at this point is multiply this by this. If you remember early on in the video, I went over how you deal with if you have, if you want to find the probability of n independent events happening together, these also count as independent events, as long as our probabilities are independent. Like if I get uh, if I have a 1 out of 26 chance of getting a red king on the first one, and then I have a, some other chance of getting a black 6 on the other, those are actually independent. Even though the choice of the red king could impact the other choice, they're technically independent because one doesn't directly impact the other. Like me getting a red king does not actually change the fact of, does not make it more or less likely. These probabilities are still going to be the same regardless of what happens. So again, we have a specific case. We're just looking for the probability of that. Um, just know for a deck of card problems, these count as independent probabilities. So just multiply them together. 1 out of 26 times 2 out of 51. The 2 and 26 cancel, you get 1 out of 13. And that just comes to 1 over 13 times 51, and that's A. Problem number 7.